Hey everybody, Ryan Hatcher with Duck at Lad CPAs. Today I've got Elizabeth Luna with us and we're going to be talking about 529 plans and some changes that have been made that'll uh, benefit you all. So Elizabeth, you want to hit on what a 529 plan is first off? Yeah, um, a 529 plan is an education savings plan where usually the money that you've put in, any interest and earnings that have been accrued from that money would be tax free basically um, as long as you use it for educational purposes. Now, if you don't use it for educational purposes, uh, let's say your kid got a scholarship and you don't need that money, then you would get taxed and penalized on the money that you do pull out. Yeah, so you, you, know, you may have been a little hesitant to open up a 529 hoping your kiddo gets a scholarship or maybe your kiddo doesn't go to college and then it's okay, well, what do I do with this money now? There's penalties if I pulled out. That's been fixed in, in a, some, a couple few ways, right, Elizabeth? So what have they done to, to make that um, better for people? Yeah, so they passed the Secure 2.0 Act, which basically allows you to roll that um, that money into a Roth IRA for that beneficiary. So if your child decides not to go to college, you can go ahead and place that same money into a Roth for them for their you know, lifetime savings. Um, there are a few stipulations, though, on that. Uh, one, it has to be that plan has to be in existence for 15 years. So if your child is, you know, 18 years old and decides not to go to college, ideally that plan needs to have started when they were three years old. Um, there's also a max contribution limit that you can put in. It's yearly, it's the same amount as the Roth IRA. So if you're putting in $2,000 for your regular Roth IRA or the, the beneficiary's Roth IRA, um, then you're limited to whatever that annual deduction or annual limit is minus that $2,000. There's also the annual or I'm sorry, lifetime limit per beneficiary of $35,000. So if you have three kids that you're converting into a Roth, it's $35,000 per child. Okay, perfect. So long story short, short, folks don't have to be as nervous about opening a 529 plan if their kid doesn't go to college or they get a scholarship. There are now ways to get that money out of that 529 tax-free. You can put it into a Roth IRA for the same beneficiary, the same child that you had the 529 plan for. And there's that is not subject to, to penalties and it can stay in their Roth row tax-free until they're a retirement age. So um, yeah, Elizabeth, that's perfect. Thanks for the information. And um, we'll talk to everybody soon. Thanks. Thank you.